Okay. All right, jump and tie. Tap the gas pedal a few times.
First test run. We'll see if we make it back to the house. <laughs> Alright, as you saw, it does run and drive now. I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. Uh, just this weekend, the rear brakes got finished. Still have to bleed them, but we got the right parts because we had a little mix-up with, like, with wagon-specific parts, but... We got all the right stuff and they're in now. Just have to bleed them. The fronts, they kind of work. And that's why we were able to stop when we just took it out. But the booster still does not work. And uh, a car with that's supposed to have power brakes without, without power brakes is worse than having manual brakes because you really got to push hard for it to stop. So we're going to get a new booster for it. Took the old battery pack with us just in case it shut off because right now it won't start or the battery's too low for it to start with just the cables. You got to plug up the battery pack. We don't quite know what's next for it yet. We want to get a passenger car transmission in it and we're looking at some other cars we have to see if we can get a passenger car transmission put together for it. This engine's going to have to come out anyway because it needs freeze plugs and you might or needs it needs one freeze plug but you might as well replace all of them at the same time. There's also some rust repair to do here. What I'm probably going to do is take out the taillight assembly, get in underneath it, make a temporary fiberglass repair so I can take this window out and do a proper metal repair. We've also got some damage up front. This one's going to be harder because it's on a line, but it's fixable. Got to take the fender off. Also got some up there that we're going to have to fix, but it's all doable. The hardest, well, and then we got stuff over here to fix, but the hardest one is definitely going to be this. Because we think that it was backed into something and it came up from this direction. And it's all been out of shape, but it's fixable. Worst thing we do is replace this entire panel because it's it's a little bit it's a little bit buckled up here too. Whereas the other side, still in undamaged shape, just a little bit of rust. The tailgate, we might try to fix it. Don't know yet. Kind of want to save the original. But the majority of these wagons, and, I'm, and, I'm, and the majority of them that are left, have power rear tailgates and of course mine doesn't but for now I mean it's okay 
after we drove it for the first time, I replaced the headlights because it had it had it had GEs on the outside or for the low beams and Westinghouses for the high beams. And I replaced them all with Wagners. And now they all work. But the electro, which are the, the prongs, they need a little bit of grinding down because they don't go all the way in the connectors. One signal works. One doesn't work. Could be a, a wiring problem or maybe a bulb. And also only one signal light works in the dash. So we'll have to figure that out. Also made a custom bracket for the power steering pump cooler here since usually this attaches to the AC compressor but that's that is over there so we made this bracket to attach the cooler but all in all it runs and it moves again and I could not be happier